Hey guys, Tuxio here, and today I am playing Little Red Riding Hood's Wolf. So this is the second part of the series, and let's just jump right on in. Last time I was searching, I was about to search this stream, I believe. Let's just get right on into it. It's a really creepy room. Book pages that are now all scattered about. No books that seem readable. It's all tattered, both inside and outside. Some clothing inside, it seems. What's this? A piece of paper has been pasted here. Three times, once each in the morning, noon, and evening during meals. When it comes close to... I've used the wooden boxes to bed. Most of this is indecipherable. Read it again. When it comes close to blank, of blank, use the wooden boxes blank to bed. Okay. The wallpaper has been torn up. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. It's just walking on things. Nothing. The feathers are flying out from inside. It does not move. It seems to be broken. It seems as if some big claws have scratched this. Okay. Let's just leave. Oh, Jesus Christ. It scared me. <laughs> that was a dim, scary room, wasn't it? Well, there's that are... Are you alright? You weren't injured by any sharp fragments, right? Your hand, Camille. Eh? Ah, uh huh? There's a cut on Camille's hand. Blood is oozing out. I didn't notice at all. Let's talk. It's alright. It's just a little cut. The medicine box should be in the room. In my room, right? Medicine box. Perform treatment on Camille's hand. Sorry for causing a hassle. But you are pretty skilled at applying treatment, aren't you? It doesn't hurt anymore at all. I I guess. I, I mean, I don't I don't know. Now what? Oh, that doesn't hurt at all anymore. Thanks. Okay, actually, I was hoping that uh, the person was going to tell me something, like, oh, we should go do this. Oh, never mind. I'm um, little Rosetta. Would it be all right to go to Miss Mary's room one more time? I get the feeling that the key is somewhere in that room. Yes. Let's try here again. Nothing of particular concern. Maybe here? No. Accessory store inside? Obtain medicine storeroom key. It's this. The key to the room where the medicine is. Good. Now even if I have a fit... What? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm, I'm alright. It's just one of those usual fits. I'm sorry. I guess I might not be all that fine. If I just stand still for a while, maybe I'll get better. Uh-oh. I think he might be, um, he might be a werewolf. Let's, let's, let's quickly do another save here, okay? Let's leave. Go back in. Okay, you're still there. Now, the medicine storing was downstairs? I believe, yes. Yes, it was. Okay. We'll go in here. Various utensils for mixing medicine are stored here. Various yeah, okay. Same thing, and same thing. Ointments arranged inside there, of the rub-on type. Ointments arranged inside. Whoa, what? Poultice stored inside. The scent of medicine small herb pierces my nose. Cold medicine stored here. They were made sweet so that they could be easily taken, okay? Stomach medicine stored here. There's pills and powder medicine. Headache medicine stored here. They also seem to be effective for stiff necks. A paper is being posted here. Difficult to handle medicine. Please don't just touch this shelf all on your own. When Camille comes, be sure to call me. Don't open. Don't open. Let's try this stuff first. Two medicine bottles have been left here. A memo has been left here. Red medicine picked from the hot spring inside the forest. It becomes smooth when rubbed on the skin and is good for health when used in cooking. Green medicine, the main ingredient extracted from the medicinal herbs cultivated in the garden. In addition to reducing hypertension, it also has the effect of making it easier to sleep. It seems to be explaining the medicine on the other table nearby. A matchbox. It's dangerous to just touch things that might start fire. Books on pharmaceutics are tightly packed, tightly packed, tightly packed. Wait, there's a book with a bookmark inside. Let's read it. Condensed materials from a hot spring are called sinter. It has been used since the old times as something good for the body. The ingredients from a hot spring differ for different sources of water. 
Acidic hot springs can potentially harm the stomach. It seems to be a book about hot springs. Okay. Tightly packed, tightly packed stuff. More tightly packed. And another book. The tradition of drinking tea made from medicinal herbs became familiar with them as herbal tea. Extracting ingredients when the medicine... When the medicinal herb has become well dried, slightly acidic, like the skin, and can therefore also be used as skin lotion. Seems to be a book about medicinal herbs. There's a memo. Let's read it. The aura mineral is in the shed. If the stock on the shelves run out, find some more. Acidic materials, explosive, and are therefore strictly forbidden. Alkaline materials give off poisonous gas and therefore <laughs> are strictly forbidden. So what could this be about? Okay. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to save here. Just in case. And then open. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's open it. A medicine bottle that gives them off a mysterious light. Obtained moon medicine. Okay. Yep. Don't open the door again. Well, let's save and see what happens, actually. Okay, talk to self. Will we get better with this? Let's open it. Okay. Sure. Let's uh let's go up. Nope, that's not up. Let's go and give him his medicine. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Give the moon medicine. Ah, little Rosetta, I'm sorry, I guess I still can't quite move yet. You've brought the medicine for me? Thanks, you've saved me there. Gave the moon medicine to Camille. This seems to glow more than my medicine usually does. Maybe it's because there's no label on it. He drank down the moon medicine completely. Ha, ah, now finally. Gah! What? Why? I just drank the medicine just now. It's, it's not coming down. Uh, it's getting worse. Little Rosetta. Run away. Ooh, he be he's becoming a werewolf. <gasps> Run away! I'm trying, dude. There's no escape this way. Oh, shoot. I think I died. Game over. Try again. Run away. Where? Uh-oh. Don't fall. What to do? Flee. Lock the door. Good, good, good. Jesus. He's really going at that door. What? There's a match in my hand. You gonna burn the place down? What to do? Little Red Riding Hood went to Grandma's place all by herself, to Grandma's house, where nobody lives anymore. There she encountered a scary wolf and ran away for dear life. Grandma's house, for some reason, ended up burning down. As for who killed Grandma, there is now no means of knowing anymore. But that doesn't matter anymore. Little Red Riding Hood won't ever go into the forest of her again, will she now? She, she burned the place down. What? Ending one, the forest wolf eats. You have still not yet arrived at the truth. Okay. We're gonna just continue from where I saved then. Maybe I'd have to mix this. No? Hmm. Let me check the items. No, I can't do anything with that. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that it showed where to go for the keys. That's cool. Hmm. I don't know. Let's try this again. Give the moon medicine. Yep, okay. Right, and then he turns into a werewolf. Okay. Yep. Run away. Yes. Okay, let's go here. There's no escape that way. Oh, go down there. Okay, so last time we fleed. Now, let's dodge. So he jumped off. Oh no. He's... He looks pretty hurt. Camille, dot 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 dot. You shouldn't get close to me. Run away, quick. 
When my pain goes away, I'll lose my sanity once again. Let's save it here. And then go up here and try and make something. Let's see what I can make. Yep, open the door. Obtain the moon medicine. There's some paper posted on the interior side of the door. Must be stored in a dark place. Do not leave the door open. Hand it over only after mixing it correctly. Of course, this is also Grandma's writing. Oh, Red Riding Hood. You silly... You silly goose, you. Red medicine. Picked from the forest, right? Okay, so I guess I have to mix these two. Mix the medicine. Some utensils are needed for mixing. Obtain glass rod. And that's it. And glass bottle. Okay. Now let's mix. Mix the medicine. Set the glass bottle. Let's... I don't really know what to mix. Mix that. Mix that. It started, only started emitting a ton of heat. Oh! I, I may have just killed myself. Whoops. Okay, let's, let's reload. From the dodge. Okay. Now, we're gonna go get the moon medicine again, right? Let's try to mix the medicine. Let's mix the medicine. Oh! Right, utensils. Obtain glass rod and whatever. Let's save it here. Just in case I screw up again. Let's mix the medicine. So I added moon. Let's try red this time. It gave off a severely irritant gas. Oh, right. I, re I remember reading this, actually. <laughs> that uh, it can explode or do that. So I guess let's mix the other two things first and then see what happens. Mix the medicine, red medicine, and the green medicine, and then put that in. Mix it with glass. The light became paler. Obtained crescent moon medicine. Oh, a book fell. A book has fallen down. It appears to be a handmade picture book. Read the picture book. It was a story that happened once upon a time. One hunter went into the forest in search of a wolf. However, the hunter got lost in the forest, and more for rain began to fall, and he was at a loss as to what to do. He walked and walked, and then finally arrived at someone's house. Its resident was a beautiful girl who kindly invited the hunter in. The hunter stayed in the girl's house for one night, but the rain didn't stop, even the next morning. Please stay over again today, said the girl with a kind smile. Before he knew it, he stayed over at the girl's house for quite a while. The rain seemed as if it wouldn't stop, and the girl was always kind. If he were to just start living here, it would be a happy life, quietly thought the hunter. But the long rain, too, came to an end. In an evening of clear skies, the two parted in. The hunter felt as if he was still dreaming. There was something nagging him in his mind on his way back. To the hunter, it felt as if he was forgetting something precious. As he couldn't just let it go, the hunter went back, the path he came. A big, round moon was climbing up the sky, but when the hunter finally arrived back at the girl's house, she was nowhere to be seen. As the hunter stood motionless, the howl of a wolf reached his ears. Maybe that girl is in danger. As the hunter flew out the doors, he encountered a wolf. The wolf was just like a human, and also resembled that girl more than anything. That kind girl was a wolf all this time. Please go back to where humans live. I almost actually tried to eat you, but I couldn't do it. I did think it'd be great if we could live together, but that's impossible for a hunter and a wolf. As the girl turned her back, the hunter then said to her, Then I won't look for wolves anymore. I won't return to where humans live either. And so please, let me live here together with you. And like this, the wolf and the girl... What? And like this, the wolf and the girl began to live together? I think I mean it's wolf and the guy. And they lived happily ever after. They lived happily ever after and after. The end. Did Grandma make this, perhaps? Maybe she's talking about her and this guy. Feed the crescent moon medicine. Fed the crescent moon medicine. It's calmed down. Um, where should I start? Thanks for saving me. Sorry for scaring you. I did tell you that I had a long-time illness when I first met you, but... But for what it really is, I guess it's more like a congenital disorder, okay? Ah, but since my mother also had this too, I guess it'd be more correct to say that it's inherited, perhaps? My mother was also someone who became a wolf on the night of a full moon. But as for me, it seems to happen all of a sudden, even when it's not a full moon. When I was facing trouble, Miss Mary was there to help me. She investigated about it here and there and made a medicine to suppress my fits. That was about seven years ago. I had her let me come over to play many, many times. So much that it feels a bit strange not having met you all this time, Lord Zeta. Dot dot dot. 
Eh? Little Zed, are you alright? Are you feeling unwell? I guess that by running around so much, she's all tired out now, isn't she? I'm sorry. Oh, am I playing as him now? Talk to self. Is little Rosetta alright, I wonder? How many saves do I get? Only four. So let's just save over the top one. Let's see what he has to say. A ton of music sheets. Please have caution if you encounter any personal forms you're not familiar with. Yep, werewolves. Right. Meaning that my grandfather or grandmother might have also been wolves? Feels a little scary. There's a thin layer of dust on the organ's keyboard. Clothing stored here. There, clothing for an elder man. Could this room possibly have been originally grandpa's? Various things stuffed inside. A medicine box. There's something inside the medicine box. Obtain brass key. Just what is this key for? Just the ball for playing fortune telling. I guess it won't change a lot of things. As for what I can do, comparatively, I do have confidence in my ears and nose. That's right, perhaps there's some... Oh! Perhaps there might be some clues remaining as to what happened in this incident. So it's not him who killed... Grandma. It's someone else. Between some pieces of bedding key fellow. Obtain dining room key. Father. Oh, his father was the hunter, probably. This room has remained locked ever since seven years ago. They told me I didn't have to help out, but it would have been better if I had cleaned up properly that time. So he did that, I'm guessing. Uh, let's go here, use the dining room key. This room feels different from all the rest. Did it always feel like this? It almost feels as if I'm being watched by the ancestors, which make me feel uneasy. Majestic statue. Portrait of someone of the previous, previous generation. Seems to have been someone killed... Oh, seems to have been someone skilled with a highly honored sword. I read that wrong. A portrait of someone of the previous generation. It seems that this was the person who started the medicine shop. Ah, uh, this spot. This is definitely the place where that... Where the husband's portrait previously was. There's nothing on the wall here. It's a magnificent sword. It seems to have been something granted from the royal family. Wait, what? The thing set here is quite massive. Now what do I do here? Oh, I found a key. Bath key. I'm gonna keep hitting it. Okay, nothing else. Now let's go open up the chest. Unless I can get this. I guess it won't open. Hmm? There's something sticking out from underneath the door. Why is there a rope in a place like this? Oh, this is not good. Ah, oh, yes, finally, that fell down. A piece of paper has fallen down. Academy Entry Information Session. To acquire knowledge and cultivation in, in an environment blessed with nature. Complete with dormitories, deep in friendships, by living together. A faraway academy, huh? Will little Rosetta be going there, perhaps? Locked. The padlock seems... is made of blue copper. Ooh, wait. The Baraski's not for that? What about in here? Nothing. My own figure, I guess it really does stand out. Nothing else. Let's go here. We can't use it, okay. Flowers. Miss Mary. It reads philosophy, and it's gone. Wait, let's let's go back to the portrait. A portrait. Take off the portrait. What is this? There's some red stains on the wall. Reflexively put the portrait back on. Just what was that just now? The red stains on this wall. Could this really be blood? You're a wolf. Find out. Oh, well, let's go in here. Again. There's probably something in here. Uh, did I already read this? Oh, I didn't read this yet. Whoops. Okay, let's read it again. Because I just kind of skipped through it by accident. Okay. From today onwards, I'll be working as a live-in assistant in Miss Mary's house. It'll be the first time I'll be away from home. So I do feel a little uneasy about it, but Miss Mary is kind to me, and I've also brought Daisy along, so it'll surely be alright. As for general household chores, the preparation my mother gave me for this seems to have been of great benefit. What gives me trouble is when it comes to handling the medicine, to even imagine that it could actually explode. 
For now, I will need to refrain from entering the medicine storage room and study some more about the medicine here. When I think about Miss Mary's health, I get the sense that I must learn quickly about how to handle them. It's been about half a year since she's been ill, so it seems like she has been working really hard all by herself for this half a year. There is little Rosetta, Miss Mary's seven-year-old granddaughter who comes to play. When I first saw her, I was really surprised. Fluffy blonde hair and big round eyes, she looked pretty much the same as Daisy. As a sign of uh, having gone in closer, I gave her Daisy as a present. It's a little old, but she seems to have liked it. She seems to like apple pie. I'll try making it to treat her some. By giving her Daisy, my own room has suddenly become all empty. Let's have them send over Benjamin from my house. Little Rosetta seems to have gone hurt. It wasn't. I wasn't able to get them to tell me how it happened. Little Rosetta came over for the first time since she got hurt. It feels as if she's now quieter than before. It somehow feels like her clothing is different too. Even though she did say before that she didn't like tights, the red hood Miss Mary made is cute, but it hides away her blonde hair. When I told Miss Mary that I think that that's quite a shame, she said, I think so too. Little Rosetta's father seems to have passed away due to an accident. He was Miss Mary's son-in-law. Little Rosetta came for the first time in a long while with a handmade bouquet as a present. She seems to have been gloomy from her father passing away, but she's becoming cheerful again little by little. However, she seems to be talking to herself more than before, and mo moreover, she also starts talking while facing the mirror. Sometimes Little Rosetta seems as if she's a different person. I'm a little scared. It seems to be a diary from two years ago. Little Rosetta, just what the heck happened? Okay, maybe I'll be running from her now as this guy. Nothing inside. There's a diary. Did I read this one? Yep. Skip that. Not flammable, inflammable. Right. What is this? The truth is at the bottom of the vault. Speaking of which, there was a well in the yard here, right? What? A specialist book. Candlestick. Let's smell the bear. A stuffed bear. Present. Mainly clothes. Mainly clothes. Nothing there, and locked. I suppose next we're gonna start just opening rooms, seeing what happens. Okay, she's she's still asleep. I was already in here. Uh, I was in there, and I was in there. I don't suppose I can walk out. Yep. Yeah, the hunters. Oh, whoops! What? I don't think that they just attack humans so promptly, though. What's going here? Matchbox. There's no particular need for this right now. Various utensils, various, various. Let's not open this. It's clever, clever. The memo. I'll see what... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I already read this. Yep. Happily ever after the end. Could these two possibly be... Miss Mary, thank you. I truly, truly cannot thank you enough. Okay, so it's probably his, like, mom and dad or grandparents. Use the bath key. I get the feeling I've entered somewhere I shouldn't. Just why, I wonder, though. Despite having used this before whenever I stayed over. Well, let's, I'll save it. Towels and bathing supplies have been stored here. Towels and bathing supplies have been stored here. It seems to be a basket for putting clothes in when changing clothes. Some soap that has still not... Uh, not been opened yet. What's going on? No matter how much I look at it, it is quite a marvelous lap. In fact, my own home doesn't have anything other than just a shower. There's a towel on side. Jesus. It's submerged in some red water. Um, it smells like iron. Okay, that's blood. It's just ordinary water. Is this blood? Yes. Okay. Locked. It starts to go bad, so I'm not empty. Let's go over here. Something, yep. Nothing inside. The assistant, just where did... Just where did that person go? Filled water. Yep. Right. Tableware and stuff. I mean, I guess now we go outside, right? The bottom of the wall is too dark to see. Scoop up some water. Ah, oh, this rope, it's really worn out. It'd probably break if I threw it in. Well, I know where there's some rope. Unless I can use the sheets. 
Nope. Okay. I I saw some rope earlier. If uh, if I can get that door open, let's go. Let's see if I can get this open. The closet. There's something. Sick. Obtained rope. I guess it won't open. Okay, so I did get the rope. Now let's go back down and do some zigzags while I go down. Let's see here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the well. Oh, we were already stationed at the well. The bottom of the well is too dark to see. Scoop up some water. Tied the rope to the bucket. Oh Christ, what's at the bottom? Obtain the knife. What? Why is there a knife in a place like this? And could this possibly be blood? I mean, now what? It's too dangerous ahead. Let's go find the little girl again. It's locked. I still have a brass key, don't I? That I haven't used yet? Yes. There doesn't seem to be a room in the house that this key could be used for. Let's check the knife real quick. A knife with reddish black stains on the handle. Okay. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> How about this? Yes, we're gonna go check on the kid. Let me save it. Okay, she's still asleep. She's sleeping, she doesn't seem to have good complexion. For now, I'll need to let her rest easy. What about you? The blonde doll, a cutting board and knife for playing house. What's in here? Okay, just... Oh, there's a scrap of paper between the pages. Or is that a Rosetta Rosetta This is little Rosetta's writing, maybe? Was she practicing making signatures? Let me look at it again. Rosetta? Rosetta. Arset Stir. Let's go back in. I want to check this stuff. Okay. I don't know where to go next. Hmm. Now where to go? Maybe these to know. I guess it won't open. It's red blood. Miss Mary. What about over here? Oh, do I have the iron? The poker thing? I do not. Did I use it? I can't remember now. Maybe that was a mistake to take. Uh, it... I guess it really does stand out. Okay. I mean, now where? Let's talk to self. If I could somehow at least find a few clues on the incident. For now, let's examine all the rooms. I am able to go in one more time, I guess. Okay. Maybe this room needs to be checked. Oh, there seems to be some bundles of pages I can just barely read. Comfort object. It is a condition of attaining comfort by having an attachment to something. When an infant or child continuously always holds onto a blanket or stuffed animal, it is due to this condition. Normally the attachment goes away with maturity, but sometimes the attachment does not weaken even after maturity. That's right. That assistant did regard that stuffed animal as precious, right? Now let's look at the werewolf syndrome. It is a syndrome of holding on to a delusion that one has transformed into an animal, or that one is an animal. When the illness breaks out, one would start to think of oneself as an animal and starts performing actions to resemble that animal. It is a type of behavior of identifying oneself with something one admires. Also, the animal is not limited to just wolves. Those, there was also an illness like that. 
But this doesn't seem to be the case for me, does it? I'm not at all fond of wolves in any case. And multiple personalities. <coughs> Excuse me. Is a mental disorder where the memories become dissociated as a means of, of fleeing from painful events in the past, resulting in a split into multiple personalities. There are no pages after this. Okay, so I think, from what I can understand, he is the one relating to, like, the wolf disorder. The, um, the assistant is relating to the holding on to disorder, and I think that Rosetta is going to be relating to, uh, the multiple personality disorder. Let's just check these. Oh, Christ, it scared me. Yep. Nothing there. The entire place is broken. Let's read the sign. Yep. This paper it feels nostalgic seeing it. For about half a year, I had her let me stay here and make me some medicine to control my fit. Did I really make this room into such a mess like this in just half a year? Torn up. And big claws. So in this room. We checked here. Nothing. Yep. Nothing. Clock is ticking. Okay. I'm not too sure where to go now. Let's talk to myself. It's the first floor storage room, perhaps. What? Just what the heck happened here? I have to check the first floor storage. Okay. Well, I'm going to check the first floor storage in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, you can leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to me if you want to see more videos of this nature. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.